All right, folks. This evening we've been uh, practicing a little bit on the swaying apple shot. Uh, I already took a few shots. I missed a few times and hit a few times. We're going to try to get you another uh, direct contact here. Hit one high, hit one low, skimmed a couple shots now. Uh, I'm feeling a little more comfortable. Like I said, this is more of a like an entertaining thing, but it's not an impossible shot. It's sort of a fun way to practice your skills at a moving target. Uh, we center punched at that time. There is no doubt about it. It's actually stuck through the apple, which would have been about the base of the apple anyhow, or if you're simulating the turkey's head, you could imagine an expandable broadhead. That almost puts a wound channel and a white tail almost as big as this apple. I downgraded the apple here in size uh, to make it a little more difficult of a shot. You don't want a big swinging grapefruit there. This is how I've been doing it. I just took a standard piece of six pound fishing line, uh, stuck one of my gold tips in the target above it, uh, put a drywall screw in the actual apple, and actually um, tied the fishing line off to it and then put the drywall screw into the apple. As you can see, I've hit it a couple times and I've actually missed it a few times too. Uh, it was actually a pretty fun practice session. I just wanted to uh, throw this in there in the mix. I think it's a uh, fun way of shooting and also it's uh, actually can uh, come in handy sometimes when you do get these uh, head or neck shots at a wild turkey at close range. I don't really recommend a head or neck shot at a long range, but at close yardage, if you're uh, given the opportunity, it's nice to have the skill level to do it. Like I always say, hunt hard, but hunt safe. This is Spaz 88.